Welcome, fellow Black Ice players. This is Gamer1745 here with another hopefully short tutorial on mix support brigades and how they function in the game. Right. First off, one standard Black Ice now will allow you to have seven brigades if for the player and other details for certain nations. Um, Third Reich events will allow eight brigade go back to the eight brigades. But either way, it's limiting the number of brigades. It's not like Hearts of Iron 4. It's done with a different premise. Right. Okay, so what you'll need to do, and we're going to um, look quickly here at an infantry regiment. Trust me. Oh, well, before we get into more on this, most of you have maybe, but if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. You'll get, um, you know, more uh, tutorials, let's plays, looks at other strategy games. Um, how best can I convince you to hit that subscribe button? I really hope you will. Uh, and, of course, hit that like button. It really helps feed the algorithm, and it gets these videos out to more and more people to hopefully help them. And, yes, hopefully help grow my channel. And also, up front here, um, please post your comments, your questions. This one is done from another request or tutorial is why I'm making this. If you've done, and I think I may have forgotten about a couple of requests for tutorials in the past or ideas. If you got one um, and I haven't made it, it's been a while, you can poke me again either below this video or some other time. All right. Let's look right now at um, an infantry division. This here, I know it's called infantry regiment, but really it's it's representing three that's why it has nine thousand men in it okay and we see these here um it's going to need horse transport it's going to need a divisional headquarters that's sort of designed as basic now most all divisions most especially somebody like germany or you know pop tier nations should have either artillery or medium artillery. Um, probably historically from descriptions, this would be appropriate for Germany, most appropriate. Um, I noticed they've gotten rid of the old um, uh, symbol for motorized artillery, but some medium artillery would be appropriate for like US and German divisions where artillery would be more appropriate for British divisions. Okay. Um, Reconnaissance. They, they have reconnaissance cavalry. Definitely Germany had that. Um, the U.S. did not. Um, many countries still had reconnaissance cavalry. Some com countries were moving more over to like reconnaissance bicycle troops or just reconnaissance infantry um, would also be uh, an appropriate element. And, and again, this is, we are going to look at mixed support grades and motorized, but I'm looking at why and when to use it as well. Okay. Now this, you know, okay, we have main group, um, artillery, reconnaissance. Right. Now, um, I know one poster said anti-tank is just for um, defensive divisions. Um, well... Okay, um, not that I've ever heard that for um, something like a um, British, French, German, Italian, um, American, Soviet type divisions. Wouldn't uh, only, no, um, most everyone. Japan really did not have what we would call anti tank guns inherent to divisions. They had field artillery that could be pressed into that service, but not really much in the way of dedicated guns. But yeah, you'll you want something like this, right? Okay. Now, um, engineers. Engineers do a lot of things in this game. Uh, oh, and some of these are you know it does specify sometimes it says battalion. Most divisions in say Germany, the U.S., Britain would have an, an engineer or pioneer 
battalion within the division. Not a brigade, but a battalion. Most would have that. So you went into engineers. Okay, well, we're filled up already. Um, we don't have um, anti-air. Okay, don't have room for that. And we're at 11.4 um, currently. It, it varies um, for what you need to do for um, you know, costs, <coughs> to various conditions. So you're all full up. What do you do here? You don't have anti-air. Now, anti-air um, in most nations, particularly Germany, is more like a company strength not so much like a battalion strength would be in most cases. Um, there are anti-aircraft divisions um, fielded by the Luftwaffe that were you know, not meant to fight necessarily as a coherent division, but sort of spread their anti-air out for, you know, a core or something like that. Um, and various nations would have more or less artillery or whatever. Italians would have, um, in their standard division, have both pack artillery and artillery. Uh, but, okay, you're awfully full up here. You probably don't need anti-air. And this is a good divisional basis, okay? This for a sort of standard infantry division um, is fine. Okay, it's fine. Now, what can we do? We can, say, get rid of that. Um, yes. Ah, goes down, but notice it goes to 210 days to produce this at 11.4. At so we reduce down here now down to 160 days at 11.7. So it's cheaper to build. Okay. And quicker to build. Right. Well, this is sort of expensive. Let's go with just artillery. Okay, we're getting that down cheaper. Okay. But we don't have engineers. Engineers are good for attacking a town and very, very good for either defending or particularly cro attacking or um, even just moving across rivers. Um, they really help a lot. What you can do come in here is for mix support okay so we're still there okay we can again we can remove this okay but we're notice we're going mix support here and we're just going to 1021 same number of days and so this allows you to get rid of uh, a specialty unit like engineers not have anti-air Right? Okay. Mix support. This can be useful. You can, in a pin, do something like that. Get it down cheap. Have mix support. Um, just to read this symbol here, the, there's the artillery symbol, there's the anti-tank symbol, and there's the anti-air dome symbol sort of all mixed into it. It's what you're seeing there. And... Um, for this one is just adding wheels for motorized. All right. Okay. Well, we, we can done, we're done with that for the moment. That is one case. And I will look at, at motorized here in a moment. Now, what you do to get that appropriately started, you come over here, you see mix support brigade start, you click this. It does this. Just that comes up. Then you come here, mix or motorized support choice, mix support choice. Okay, this is a one time for the whole game. You need to make your choice. Choice, or choices actually. Okay. Mix support brigade choice introduction. This event chain, because you go through several, um, allows you to choose four upgrades for your mixed support brigades. Once chosen, they will be only there will only be text available for research. Each one can be selected only once. If you misclick or select, you don't panic. You can do this all over again. Okay. So, that's anti-tank. That, and, and it does, I believe, vary by nation. I'm, I'm not sure on that. 
Again, those those troops are not soldiers. Those are um, Reichsarbeitsdienst or German labor service. Yes, they have guns, but um, that badge there is the is a shovel and with a unit number, and that is the party swastika badge. So it's a political uniform being used on the battlefront. Technically illegal. Whatever. Okay, anti tank, assault gun, mountain artillery. Here, reconnaissance, engineers. Anti-aircraft artillery, infantry tanks, because it has the armor symbol with the X in it, or X for infantry, armor is a circle. Um, armor with waves for specialty or naval. So that's just what how to read those symbols, and that's sort of the combined at the top. Okay, so now we need to select four out of all of these. And this is where you need to, to sort of make your choice. You can go, hey, I want to have, and, and this is, you have to think about how you want to plan your military. Um, and this goes for any nation that's using this. Um, and we'll get into some other, there's, I'm sure, limitations for some nations. But um, this goes for basically any nation. That you, you, you've got to figure out how you, you want to use make support brigades. Do you want to, and obviously it's going to take up a brigade slot, in your, whether it's seven or eight brigades, it's going to take up a slot. Do you want this to replace missing units? Like say, hey, well, we're not going to, because, well, you remember the division we had there. Well, if we're going to put this in, we have to remove something. We can't have those seven that we had and this, so we have to remove something. So let's say we're going to remove engineers. Okay, so yeah, since you have to remove something from a basic lineup, okay, so we might presume we're going to want to engineers. And well, yeah, okay. Well, and we don't have anti-aircraft artillery, so let's put in anti-aircraft artillery. Well, let's do that. Okay, so upgrade engineers, first group, engineers. Second group, anti-aircraft. Notice if you come over here, you double click, you see where it, like you, when you with my finger, you can't see it. It's going to double click. But okay, so there we go. So now we have anti-air. So we replaced the one that we took out and we added one here. Now, okay, what do we want to do with this? Do we want to add um, artillery upgrade here? I know it has mountain here, but um, uh, we'll get to some of that in a moment. Do we want to add artillery? Do we want to add an assault gun? You know, so do you want all your German divisions to have some stugs attached to them, all your infantry divisions uh, that, that have one of these? Because you may not put this in every division, but you only have one version of this is for mixed support brigades, not the others. Uh, or do you want to say, well, we already have reconnaissance, but I want extra reconnaissance. Or like I was saying, you want extra artillery. Or you want to have infantry tanks with your, all your infantry division. Say if you're going to build something along the lines of a British type army that sure you have garrison units and you have your colonial units um, all over your empire, but your main sort of core force, you know, your BEF that's going into Europe or your Western Desert Force for your non-motorized primary forces, maybe what might be a semi-motorized division choice instead of pure infantry, you're going, well, I want a, you know, basically an infantry tank company kind of thing added to your division, not equivalent to an infantry tank, um, you know, brigade or regiment or even battalion put in there. This is more like an infantry tank company. You want to put that in there so you're giving it extra stuff. But we're going to pick, okay, so we have, we replaced, we removed the engineers and we replaced it with this. We put in anti-air just to have some anti-air. Well, all right. Okay, so what we're going to do here is um, come in and we're going to do artillery upgrade for our third, because we want, we're going to go with extra artillery here. And because I'm sort of looking at um, Germany. Hmm. I want to keep this, and I'm, we're going to take a look in a moment because I'm not sure. We're going to we're going to go with extra anti tank. 
Okay, that's your fourth pick. Finish the event. And then you go, nope, I want to redo everything, or you go, done. Right, now, let's come over here. These, here, these are important. I love that they've done these here. Okay, basic will deal with um, your mixed support brigades, just what we were dealing with. You will get choices down the line. Um, you will get the ability to um, more customize this as you get um, capability. So let's say, um, you know, get back here technology. Well, we haven't researched rocket yet. And so, okay. We're um, we're not going we can, so we can't make rocket units yet. But once you can make rocket, well, I'll keep on clicking. Once you can make rocket units, you can decide to have your mixed support brigade be in essence rockets instead of artillery. So we can look at supply consumption is greater with artillery. Um, I'm looking to see if there's a, co a build cost difference. I don't see a build cost difference here. Okay. But we can see here defensiveness plus three, defensiveness plus three, toughness plus three. Okay, but we see soft attack here plus seven, soft attack here plus five. Um... It's a different mountains. I'm looking right. Um, fort attack. You so you have greater fort attack with artillery, less fort attack, and you know plus ten, plus thirty. So you can dig down into the weeds, and then here, if you want to go with um, pack and light amphibious artillery, instead for your mixed support brigade. Say if you're doing this for Japan, say and whatever so you want less supply consumption you want um and notice also movement penalties over different types of terrain here um river movement minus 10 minus 40 minus 40 so this is going to go across rivers a lot faster a um, mountain um defense plus 75 um mountain defense plus 10 mountain defense plus 30. So if you're going to go, if you're really, if you're going to say, we're going to be Italy and we're just going to defend Italy. And so we're going to want this in because for two reasons. One, Italy is very, very mountainous. And two, mountain artillery and particularly mountain artillery ammunition is normally lighter. It's cheaper to make, or in essence, you can make more of it for the same amount of production, resources, cost, time, whatever. So most infantry divisions, frontline infantry divisions, had pack artillery as part of their uh, artillery complement. Not so much normal amount of artillery as compared to other nations, plus pack or mountain artillery. It was sort of like, well, replace some of the regular artillery with pack artillery. Again, cheaper, more flexible for mountains. Again, just history lesson, look at, you know, defending against France, Early on, they're worried about a German threat, defending there. Um, you got, you know, Sardinia, Sicily, the mountains up and down the... Well, we can maybe do this better. Mountains up and down the center of Italy. You know, if you're going to go into Greece or Yugoslavia. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe not so much out in the desert. I mean, there are mountains, you know, Abyssinia. So, you know, or if you're going to invade Turkey or something, you... Yeah, there's good reason to have... What did I click there? I don't want to click here. Um... Pack artillery. So you're going to have to make at some point a choice here as to what you want your artillery to be. So if we're doing hypothetical Germany, and I picked artillery. Well, instead of picking regular artillery here, you know, um, go for, hey, I want rocket artillery. So that way um, it's sort of adding to your regular tubed artillery instead of adding a full rocket artillery brigade or battalion or whatever you want to call it to your force. And then you have things like anti-air or heavy anti-air. Um, 
we can see fuel consumption. See here, no fuel consumption. Again, we're talking about for a basic mix support. Do you want, as you're pushing into Russia, deep, deep into Russia, do you want your infantry divisions to suck up and need fuel and oh well we don't have fuel so we got to stop or hey we don't have fuel we can still we can still advance and we don't take away fuel from our armor division so you make the choice um oh and there will be other attacks that do uh or other not other tech, other techs that will affect some of these things give greater piercing attacks um or whatever if you have some of this collected so, you know, do you want Flak 88s? Well, Flak 88s, they're basically presuming that they're going to be towed by half tracks or these trucks and not, you know, horse drawn wagons. So you need to look at heavy anti tank, fuel consumption, not. Um, infantry tank detachments here. Again, fuel consumption. So this doesn't, you can, if you're going to put assault guns, stugs on every infantry division that has one of these mixed support brigades, good on you. It's not going to cost you any more for this, but you're going to now have fuel consumption for your infantry divisions. So you need to keep that in mind, same for any of these armors. So there can be very good reasons to avoid having um, one of these armored or other heavier units that um, require a motorized vehicle. Now, as we can quickly see here, there are motoriz motorized tech, armored techs, airborne techs, a few of them um, for once you get uh, mix support for airborne, once you get armor um, options, they will just come later in the game. And then there's a little bit for some other techs that will affect some of these, uh, the, just generally speaking, because we can see mix support org organization plus, and then we see SS mix support and whatnot. So it just, it varies on whether you have some of these other texts, whether you get that. Okay. So now let's come back. Okay. Well, um, let's come back and look. We're going to go motorized. And if we're going to do a motorized um, infantry division, well, right now we have a civilian transport. Well, let's load this. Do we have um, some of these come in early on for Germany? Send help road network. No, but I think there'll be an event within a month or two. That will give you um, more. Oh, we keep clicking the wrong thing. Um, we'll give you more choice. Well, no, I did want to. Um, we'll give you more choices for um, motorized transport. You want a headquarters. That's an important element. It's this is designed. I've come to the conclusion. I mean, they're not going to change it now, but this is a bad idea. I mean, it's a cool idea, but it's bad in practice in that you take high levels of casualties way beyond what any of the transports should um, be just because um, normally the transports aren't up front in combat where this is designed to be combat elements. Right, so we, we want this. Now, um, we're going to go with motorcycle reconnaissance, recon attachments. Other nations other than Germany use motorcycle reconnaissance, um, but we can look at this maybe more generically as motorized reconnaissance. Um, Germany used uh, the Krupp small, um, the uh, yeah, um, three axle vehicles, some for towing, um, you know, the Pac 36 anti tank guns, the 75 millimeter infantry gun, and, you know, the um, 20 millimeter AA gun, but they also just um, had sort of a generic troop carrier version and a well, generic sort of pickup truck type version of it too. It was for general utility. Other nations had similar light vehicles that were used for motorized reconnaissance. Um, the Americans used um, a lot of um, light armored vehicles, um, including things that look sort of like a half track, but without tracks. Okay, and we're going to go with medium artillery. 
um, because it's going to be towed. It's the, the speed is determined by what's towing it, not it. And well, because oh, and I don't know if I specified about defensive and non-defensive or offensive or defensive divisions. When you're encountering anything with hard attack or hard hard hardness versus softness, if the enemy has a um, any sort of armor. Um, and we can come here. Oh, let's hit, let's do, um, selecting, we can see here with this selected here, we have hard attack at 19, just because infantry has anti tank rifles, if nothing else, um, at this time, you know, in 36, uh, later on, bazookas and whatnot. Um, and maybe light anti-tank guns, but not a whole lot of them. Uh, and, a, you know, soft attack is 66. But see, this is piercing attack is 5. Okay. If the enemy arm armor is... I don't know if it's... I think it's equal to or less than. So if it's has armor, or maybe it's just less than. I don't know. But it's it's whether it's equal to or less than or equal to or greater than I don't know. Well, it doesn't that doesn't matter. But it, let's just say if it has four point nine nine armor, which is this one here. This unit has no armor in it. Then it gets the full effect of the hard attack. You understand? So nineteen point will be hitting that four point nine nine um, armored unit. But for sure, if it is 5.1 or 5.01 or whatever of armor, then only half, so roughly 10 points of hard attack would be hitting it. So you understand? So if the armor is greater than your piercing, this only does half damage. Okay, so that is a critical element. So by putting on anti-tank, not only do we go to 55 heart attack, we also now currently, because again, text will affect this, go to a 20 of piercing. And we can quickly click on light armor here. And light armor, just for your edification for Germany, currently is at 10. So this would have full effect. We're going to remove this. So that is why this is critical to have some... AT in all your divisions. And because we want to move this division around, I don't know specifically why. I mean, this is sort of, again, remnants of going over why they have engineers or motorized engineers, but let's go with motorized engineers. Okay, again, we're full up, and this is a decent division right now. Okay, we can move. We have engineers, and engineers help you move across certain types of terrain, as well as, you know, particularly like rivers, meaning they're building bridges and they're keeping everything, you know, um, terrain wise moving not so much this is keeping you know everybody moving by trucks there's just civilian there's better transport you'll get um and so you, you can move you can move you can you got engineers they'll help you attack cities they'll help you move across rivers attack across rivers you got your reconnaissance you got your any tank you got your armor you got your main motorized infantry unit that is a pretty decent division okay and it is and I would highly recommend you building some of those. Um, now, building all of those, the biggest problem is um, fuel usage um, here. Fuel consumption. It starts getting bigger and bigger compared to maybe none, um, depending on the division and how it's set up. Right. Okay. But let's change the thought of it. Let's get rid of this. But what we're going to do here is... Um, Okay, where is it? Okay, a light tank battalion. Not a light tank, you know, armored brigade. You can do that, too. You can do for 12,000 men, but here we get, you know, your 3,000 motor, or, well, this is, and they sort of kind of presuming with some of the motorized infantry is that they're going to be operating in one way or another in support with armor. Um, though you will eventually also have mechanized, which is even more armored infantry 
but we're going to have this one supported by a our light and red battalion. Just we haven't got the text to go heavier. So now we are full. Okay, we wanted some armor. This is meant to be a armored um, division, if you will. Um, or we could build this out. Let's just change this. Let's build this out as an armored division. Light, apparently light. So we have a light armored brigade. We could do that. We could. Um, that isn't too many men. That's doable. But for manpower reasons, um, industrial cost for production, because again, we can look here at 26 ICs for 254 days right here if we come down here and let me motorize yeah, eight out of 26 20 for about the same amount of time i think it's the same amount of time so it's yeah okay it's almost 21 so yeah it's just six ic's less but still that does matter uh, overall manpower does matter this all matters so now we have an armored division Okay. Now, do you need anti-tank? No, you don't. Um, but we can see here 74 piercing, 38 piercing. Um, the U.S. doesn't do have tank destroyers in its armored divisions, as far as I know, during this time period, as far as I know. Um, but they do use tank destroyers, sometimes attached to core assets that get loaned out, and do get um, put into other um, infantry divisions. What the Germans often did um, was have some motorized um, tank destroyers uh, sometime within divisions. Um, again, now we're going back to 20. So it's a pretty good um, thing. But let's just go, we don't need it. We're going to do just 10. That's not great. 10 armor. So if we're fighting ourselves here, we're, we're going to be just hit even. I'm, again, I'm not sure whether even, but it's definitely, if you definitely go over, if it's definitely like 1% over the 10, this only attacks with half that um, effectiveness. So this isn't terribly effective against tank. Right. Okay. But because we want this to be moving, we're going to put in motorized infantry. Okay, that ain't bad. That ain't a bad division. Um, really, if you're going to talk about armor later on, you can still have this. Use better truck. And, of course, use the regular armored brig um, brigade instead of this. And you're not talking about a bad division. But what you can see about doing is let's let's get rid of um yeah let's get rid of the motorized engineers like I say that is not bad and now we can come to motorized support there we go now um this motorized support we can see here okay it's it's not as expensive okay well let's um. Okay, 24. Currently, it's as expensive as um, an engineering battalion added to your division. Okay. Same production time, same basic cost. So we have light armor, motorized support, motorized infantry battalion, medium artillery. Motorcycle reconnaissance, civilian transport to the headquarters. Right. Okay. Sounds pretty good. You could do things like move that, put in this, uh, which will be a little faster as standard. Um, it does, speed is affected by terrain now. So um, you see movement penalties based on different terrain types. Um, this gives move, movement bonuses uh, over that. So a little faster here. That's maybe what I would be doing here. But okay, mixed support added to this group. Now let's come back. Just no, 
taking a little bit longer than I intended, but I hope it's interesting and helpful. We're going to go motorized support choice. Right. Okay. So, light armor, self-propelled anti-tank, but the, in a um, sort of towed sense, it doesn't... Um, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Um, motorized artillery, motorized anti-tank or anti-air, um, motorized engineers, and motorized reconnaissance are going to be our basic choices here. So, again, that's where we're having fewer choices um, than we had for um, mix general mix support. Just because partially they wanted, to, if you want to be English about it, you can have your infantry support tanks. If you want to be German about it, you can have your stug, etc. Um, so now you remember we pulled out the reconnaissance, so we're going to add, or no, engineers. We pulled out engineers, so we're going to add engineers. We went with um, we could do assault guns. So this. Light armored up. Okay, is it? Okay, so I guess there's anti tank upgrade. I, okay, I don't see a stug symbol there. Normally, stug is considered armored um, with a um, dot in the center for it, armored artillery. That's sort of what it's considered. Um, right, so we've got engineers to replace our missing engineers. Well, let's go. Okay, we, we don't have anti-air, so we're going to go with anti-air. Now, hmm, do we want to do light armored upgrade? Well, this is where you may need to, to choose. If, so you're mostly going to use mixed support in support of a motorized infantry division, not including that... Um, whether as a light or other or medium armored um, if uh, armored brigade or light or medium armored battalion if you're not going to be having those as standard in most of the units and you want to give it some light armor this is sort of like throwing in a company of armor or you could do um, assault guns um, or you can do anti-tank upgrade we're going to do anti-tank upgrade because we pulled the anti-tank out so um, this will hopefully give us, and we're sort of um, tailoring it to what we just had. And since we pulled, we went down to um, just regular um, artillery. Let's do an artillery upgrade. Okay, so that's last step. We'll finalize this now. Again, there will be things that pop up, and you will get these things, you know, um, highlighted like this once you're in effect. Right. So now we have motorized. So we have motorized artillery detachment. We will have later on choices for self-propelled artillery. Once we get it, um, we'll have choices for um, rocket if we want it. We'll have choices for self-propelled rocket support and we can see here so um here okay we're looking at you know um plus seven soft attack now here um self-propelled um what we're seeing here is a lot less movement penalties we can see here you know minus 40 minus 50 minus 50 minus 42 percent here Minus 25, minus 20, minus 21, that kind of thing here. So this is going to move faster, but not be... Oh, actually, I do believe... Sorry, I think I'm mistaking on this. What I think this allows you to do is you can um, add to this maybe? Oh, boy, I don't know for sure. Someone from the Black Ice team can correct me um, if you wish to on some of the details. But you can see how these can sort of grow, and you need to to look at um, different um, choices here, whether you want to go artillery or, or rockets, or whether you want to go um, anti-tank detachments, 
or heavy anti-tank detachments. Um, you know, we can see greater fuel consumption here, um, not just supply consumption. We can see much more piercing attack. Um, that's plus five. This um, piercing plus five. I think it. I think it actually stacks on. I'm not sure. You know, going up. But yeah, I know I'm not sure about all this because it's been a while since I've gone through some of this. Um, then we can maybe quickly take a look at something else. But you go through and you can see what these once you get a motorcycle reconnaissance element here is this motorcycle reconnaissance units um these reconnaissance units help you move faster just keep you you know informed about your enemies and terrain up ahead and kind of thing and so you can see what your blend how you're picking your your force do you want to um and you don't have to you know do you want to replace what you're not putting in there or do you want to um emphasize what you already have there or do you want to mix it up and then for then eventually you'll have a choice for armored, um, you know, medium tank destroyers, assault gun detachment, armored engineers, um, and then airborne units. So I know it gets gets a little messy. Um, you know what I'm going to do here? Let's. Yes. Okay. Um, your screen will go black. It'll be very quick to get back. We're going to quit, and I want to take a quick look at things here sorry for the black screen i'm going to keep talking so you know it, it, it is supposed to be black and you're not too afraid of the dark but we're reloading pretty quick you always fully want to leave the game if you're going to load a save you don't want to just go back to the main screen and load a save it's not just with black ice it's anything with hearts of iron 3 just leave the game. We're still loading in, loading graphics, creating world, map properly. Okay, you, yeah, you're, you're back here. Single player. Let's load my current save for my Barbarossa invasion. Whether that's, if you're watching it fresh, that's obviously going now, or um, maybe years ago by the time you're watching this. This will answer some of my. I'm not sure questions, not all of them, but some of them. All right, okay. What we're gonna come here is this screen here. So we can see here we have basic artillery, basic anti-air, heavy anti-air, engineers, reconnaissance, cavalry detachment. Um, we do have rocket artillery because I, I went down the road to having heavy or, or regular artillery instead of rocket artillery for um, it, the the reasons of that really slow movement um, elements here with some of this um, so we have this and we I went with heavy anti-air um, so most of my infantry divisions that I build, do not have a mix support unit but if i wanted to have um basically a um uh, you know flak 88 type addition to it piercing attack um we have grand battle which helps mix support um this and we see for motorized detachment we have artillery and self-propelled artillery we have anti-air um, I did not want to slow up my um, motorized units, so I went with um, self-propelled anti-air and motorized engineers and reconnaissance. And we can see for um, my armored support, some stugs, which, you know, um, is basically a, um, you know, it's a little more hard attack, but it's more soft attack attack it's and more for it it's more of a you know motor uh, uh you know assault artillery not an anti-tank element here engineer detachment um armored in, and then to armored engineers so that does stack we can see here armored car detachment 
anti-air and I wanted to go fast, so we went here with self-propelled anti-air. Um, instead of, is there a um, armor and medium light? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Um, light armor detachment. So some of these do, you know, so so you get this plus this. So we're both pluses and minuses. Um, supply consumption plus 0 0.10, 0 0.1, whatever. Um, but with more air defense and air attack, self-propelled, okay, more more supply consumption, more fuel um, consumption, but even more, a little bit more air um, attack um, and defense. So you have some of these choices. Then we have airborne. Um, you only get two out of the, I guess, four options for, or maybe some of these haven't fired. I don't know. Don't know. So yeah, this is how it works here. Um, you can chart. You these all affect what's going on here, um, and you can look at that as your choices for your mix support. Do you want to use it? as an additive element because here we have make support but we don't have engineers but so this unit will have some anti-air capabilities um let's let's come over here brigade and this is sort of the best way to look at it here um so just this unit here we can see um, it has nine soft attack, six piercing, 19, or no, six hard attack, 19 piercing, no armor, uh, effects, uh, AA of 10, what's that, uh, defensiveness, toughness, and 15, air defense, 10, um, what is softness, 100%, right, we can look at armored support. Okay, softness is minus 5%, 5, 2, but here we have 34 piercing versus, again, here we just 19, as we can see here, 14 for motorized support, as you want to, um, but armored, you know, 24 armor, so any unit attacking it, if it doesn't have a piercing of 24 or less, the armor element takes only half the damage it would otherwise. So this is sort of what you have to sort of pick, use, you know, how you want to work it. I don't have like a, this is the best way, um, or not to do it, but sort of, I guess I've given you my advice and how to make the choices and what you want to do. Um, yeah, I, I think this is an appropriate system. It more rec reflects the idea of having a, um, I know there's 3,000 men here, um, you know, 1,000, 3,000 for armored, a lot on 2,000 and 2,000, that's a little more. Um, but I think appropriate. And that represents the idea of support elements in you know company to up to a battalion strength you know figuring a battalion is 800 men so yeah we can see how much it helps or it doesn't help and um oh yes we have to come over here now click this again for mix support and then hit terrain we can see how this mix support um, for force, this mix support it, attack is minus 15, but for defense, it's plus 115%, movement plus 10%. You know, woods are not quite as thick. Mark, you know, is just not awful. You have to attack into it, you, you'll see the terribleness of it. Um, and so, you know, in some areas it's helping movement, some areas it's not, motorized support. Again, um, 
some areas like Arctic, ew, it's terrible because it's trucks in, um, you know, Arctic. Bocage, you know, nothing goes terribly fast there. But hey, you know, it doesn't hurt you in, you know, well, okay, if there isn't a, um, uh, a terrain element there, then it doesn't um, affect that. But we can see like planes, okay, movement is just down by, um, 20%. Remember, this is the mixed. Uh, yeah, this is the mixed one. Um, but your planes attack and defense are up a little bit more. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I wanted to do that. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Yes. Sorry. I had that wrong, didn't I? Well, wow. okay. No, I'm not going to edit that out. So now we can see here. Okay. This is better. So, yes. Yeah, so we can see here. Um, so planes, you know, it, it is reducing your movement a bit um, because you're towing more and more equipment. Um, now, remember, let's just add one of these in here. Proper trucks, you can do half cracks and come up here. And now that changes everything because trucks are really the, the determinant element. And so your planes with these, you know, in the planes with these two elements, you're getting movement plus 90%. Um, and that's really how it sort of, you need to really look at all this, but this is just a, um, you know, I'm looking at planes minus 30%. Without it there, we have a, um, planes 210%. So yeah, um, these really affect the, the brain types of movement. I hope that helps. Um, don't know that I have anything more useful to say. It's both realistic in many aspects and really helps with the game situation as well in um, not specifying, oh, well, we have three artillery companies making up this battalion. Or we have two artillery companies making up this battalion because it varies from nation to nation. Or um, we have three um, artillery companies in the battalion and one anti-tank company in the battalion and a um, sort of like an anti-tank platoon and a re-infantry battalion, you know, is how they might actually have been organized in real life. But it sort of um, matches all that up and works out pretty well with the brigade situation. So thank you so much. Um, again, post questions, comments, um, as well as what you might want to see other tutorials on. Um, yeah. Okay. See you next time for more, yes, even more Hearts of Iron.